Praise the Lord, everyone. Paz de Cristo, hermanos, and bienvenidos a nuestro culto. Welcome, everyone, to our Sunday service. We're so glad that you are joining us. Estamos muy contentos de usted estar con nosotros en nuestro servicio. Quiero comenzar uh, con una oración. So Dios puede estar con nosotros aquí en la iglesia y también ahí en sus casas. We just want to just begin with a word of prayer so the, so the presence of the Lord can have your way. Mueve, Señor, y toca nuestro servicio en tu gran nombre, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. Hallelujah. Hoy aquí en la iglesia tengo tanto paz en mi corazón. Estoy seguro que de, de que todos han visto lo que está sucediendo en la nación en este momento. Tan caos. Ahora más que nunca necesitamos acercarnos a Dios. Este mundo necesita a Jesús. Seamos un ejemplo de Cristo. I was just saying that today I feel such peace in my heart as I'm standing here in church. I'm sure everyone has seen all the chaos and destruction going on right now in our city, in our state, in our nation. Uh, right now, more than ever, we need to get close to God. This world needs Jesus. Let's be an example and live like Christ lived. And this song just simply says, close to you is where I want to be. I want to hear your voice. I want to be a reflection of who you are. So I ask that you just worship with us right now as we sing this song. Thank you. 
think all the chaos and all the destruction that's going on and him getting his phone calls and waiting for him to come in because it's urgent because they're destroying the city. It puts such a fear in me and anxiety that in the 13 years that he's been doing this, I've never felt before. And it really brought me to my knees that night. And I was just praying that God calm the storm that is happening on the world.
Praise the Lord, everyone, and we really appreciate the um, the worship. Paz de Cristo, hermanos. Muchas gracias por los músicos y cantos por con esos cantos. Pero en ese momento, quiero decir gracias, muchas gracias por la semana pasada, por sus ofrendas para limpiar la iglesia. Gracias por eso. Si buscado una compañía, en esta semana ellos vienen para limpiar. Estamos uno poquito más cerca de abrir el templo y por nuestro servicio estamos esperando. Hay de sudar, tienes un junta lunes para una discusión para hablar de esta manera, esta cosa, tema. Um, so I just want to thank everybody for um, just uh, your offering last week. First of all, it's great to see everybody in your offering to professionally clean our, our church. Uh, we appreciate that. We were able to move forward. Uh, we found a, a company that will be coming in this week uh, to do that, which just brings us that much closer to being prepared to open our, our church um, this uh, Monday, tomorrow. Um, the City of San Jose supervisors will be getting together, and one, one thing on their agenda is the opening of, of churches, and so we're just praying that um, all goes well and we just get that much closer to, to that. Um, I want to just, before I get into my message, I want to appreciate Brother Gustavo for helping me out um, today, um, but I uh, um, just wanted to mention, I know Melina mentioned it, and there's a lot going on in the world today. So, como nuestra hermana Melina andaba mencionando lo que estaba pasando en el mundo en esos momentos. Um, you know, there's, a, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anger. Um, there's a lot of confusion and frustration. And, and so, uh, you know, it really is a time to pray for our nation. Y, y hay muchas cosas que están pasando, mucho coraje, mucho temor. Y ahorita es el momento adecuado, adecuado para que nosotros oremos por nuestra nación. Um, as as believers and children of, of God, you know it's we're, we're people, and you know it's easy for us to want to pick a side, right? I want to be on this side. I want to be on this side. Right. And um, in in reality, we we sh uh, are representatives of God, and we know a God. Our God is a God of peace. Y como creyentes, como hijos de Dios, es muy fácil que nosotros escojamos un lado, o yo soy de este lado, o yo soy de aquel lado. Pero como hijos de Dios, nosotros también uh, uh, we understand that um, you know there is a lot of injustice in the world, a lot of injustice in in our uh, nation. We know there's corruption. Uh, we know that there are those that manipulate. We we know all of these negative things. We've we've lived with them for so long as American citizens. Y como ciudadanos americanos, nosotros sabemos que hay mucha injusticia en este so I'm appealing to you to, um, you know, let's continue to pray. Let's let's pray for those that are angry and, and protesting. Let's let's pray for protection for everyone, yeah. not only protesters but also law enforcement. They're people. They're not machines. They have families. Right. They have people that love them. Police don't want to kill people, and I'm sure people don't want to kill police. And I know that's very radical, but but uh, we, we need to understand that that we are the children of God. I have a lot of back and forth with people texting me and wanting my opinion and why don't I do this and I should go and do that. And all of these things is that say, listen, I only follow the leading of the Lord. I don't follow emotional, uh, uh, emotional drive. And though I respect all the parties involved, we must understand that the greatest thing that we have is prayer. And for many people, that's they feel that that's not enough, and that maybe they just don't know the God that they say they serve. Y me, a mí me han llegado bastantes mensajes, textos con hermanos o gente preguntándome, hey, ¿por qué piensas tú de esto? ¿Qué piensas tú de aquello? 
Entonces, este, lo, que, lo que yo les digo o lo que yo siento en mi vida personal es que lo más importante, lo que más necesitamos con la iglesia ahorita es la oración. You know, I, I know it sounds cheesy or whatever, but, you know, I, I live my life only on one side. And that that's the side of the Lord and what the word of the Lord says and how the word governs us. Yeah. We're, we're in this world, but we're, we're not of this world. And, and so we need to continue to understand that. Tal vez esto suena un poquito ridículo o cursi, pero yo estoy en, en, en la realidad, si yo estoy en el lado del Señor, nosotros tenemos que eh, continuar. Uh, yo sigo pensando de esta manera. Um, so I'm going to ask Gustavo right now that if you could just pray for our, our nation, pray for our cities, pray for, uh, you, you, know, our, um, you know, our governing bodies, uh, for law enforcement, for, for the protesters. That just that we just are able to find peace, or, and the storm calms down. If it's a spirit that's driving these things, that we just pray that that this 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 thing could be uh, uh, um, you know silenced or, or calmed. Amen. Vamos a orar, hermanos. Let's pray. Let's go before God in prayer. Bendito Dios y Padre celestial. Tú eres el Dios de paz, tú eres el Dios soberano, el Dios de, sobre toda la tierra. You're the God of all the earth. And there's nothing and there's no one more powerful and more capable than you. God, I know and I understand that not everybody out there, our black people, they, they, they're not all bad people. Just like they're not all bad police officers or nothing but... That we, we are in a time where people look for justice. We all want justice. And we, only, we know that the justice can only come from you. You have it all the control. You, God, heal our lands, heal our hearts. Bring peace to our nation. Trae paz y sana nuestros corazones, Señor. Sana nuestra nación. Tú eres el único que puedes traer cambio, Señor. Ayúdanos, Señor. Bendice a los, todos los policías que están allá tratando de mantener la paz. Bendice a aquellos protestadores que están protestando en una manera de paz, Señor. Y te pido, Señor, que traigas justicia en todos aquellos que en su corazón tienen a hacer el mal. Jesus, you have called us to be like you, not to be like everybody else. If we try to be like somebody else, we're going to fall short. But if we, if, we, if we strive to become like you, we, the church, We'll make the change. We will make the difference. We pray for peace in this time of uncertainty. Yeah. And we ask you to flood our hearts and our minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks. Thank you, Gustavo. Um, this, uh, this past week, um, in our uh, midweek uh, Bible study, we, we started a study on um, Ephesians chapter 4, which talks about, if you did not join us, uh, uh, speaks about um, the unity of the body of Christ, but united in God, And united together. Esta semana que, que, que empezamos un nuevo estudio en Efesios 4, uh, capítulo 4 que habla sobre unidad. Y la unidad de estar unidos nosotros juntamente con Dios y a la vez uh, nosotros mismos como hermanos. And you know, unity is, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, a buzzword in, in church, you know. We, we talk about it, but a lot of times we, we don't see it. Y unidad es una, esa palabra que no es una palabra que nos no suma en iglesias y donde en realidad lo escuchamos y hablamos de ello muy frecuentemente, pero no lo vemos regularmente. And a lot of time unity is, is sought out in, in something that we really can't find unity in. If, if we're trying to be united under a person's uh, agenda or a leader's, uh, leader's uh, you know, desires, Well, we're, we're never going to be able to find unity in that because it's, it's, it's human. Y nosotros muchas veces buscamos unidad o buscamos unidad en ciertas personas y en ciertas cosas, pero a veces en realidad no lo vamos a llegar a encontrar porque estamos buscándolo en lo humano. Um, what we see and what we hear, what we read in Ephesians 4, and also what we're going to look at uh, this morning in, in Psalm 133 is, is that, that to find this unity of people that are so different it, it's always under the umbrella of, of God because once we connect with God we have a connection with others that are connected to God y, y aunque hemos hablado de este tema uh, en, 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 en Efesios 4 en el Salmo 133 um, 
vamos a mirar que esta unidad que nosotros buscamos, que el pueblo que entre solamente lo va a encontrar, entrar, encontrar bajo la uh, sombrilla de Dios. So the idea that in this sentence is going to sound so negative, but to really find peace, one can't find peace outside of God. Amen. We could, and that's why just as people throughout history, people can't get along. People can't find, uh, you know, a common ground. Sure, maybe in some eras or some neighborhoods or something, but without the element of God, how can one find peace? It's just like love. If, if we don't know the author of love, how can we genuinely love? Okay, so, este, aunque esto se escuche negativo, uh, o piensen que sea algo negativo, nosotros nunca, no vamos a poder encontrar esa paz si no en Dios. Y es como el amor. Si no llegamos a conocer a Dios, no vamos a llegar a conocer ese amor. In, in Psalm 133, it's, it, uh, this psalm is a psalm of ascent. El Salmo 33 es un Salmo de aprobación. And what, what that means is, is that uh, the Jewish people, when they were going to the temple, which was up on a mountain, um, when they were going to the temple, they would sing this song. That's why it's a song of ascent, as they were climbing, as they were going to the temple. Y este, este, este Salmo se le llama el, 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 el Salmo de aprobación porque era un Salmo que el pueblo judío el pueblo, el pueblo hebreo cantaba cuando iba subiendo hacia la montaña, por eso se llama el, 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 el salmo de ascensión o de aprobación. And so it, it was a way to express their joy in coming together to worship at the temple, um, where, where really, where God, to them, where God promised to meet them. Y para ellos era un salmo muy gozoso porque ese es un salmo que cantaba en camino al templo y aun cuando llegaba al templo porque ese lugar era el lugar donde el Señor los, los encontraba, donde encontraba la presencia de Dios. So this Psalm, Psalm 133, it expresses the blessings and it expresses life and the oneness of faith that the, that the people have uh, it, uh, towards God. So este Salmo expresa las bendiciones, la, la vida y la unicidad de Dios uh, y sobre la fe de las personas. And so here in Psalm 133, it, it really is talking about People uniting with God. Y aquí en el Salmo 133, el, se puede decir que el tema de este Salmo, de este Salmo uh, uh, trata sobre la unidad de Dios con el, con el hombre. So Psalm 133, verses 1 through 3, it's, it's, it's only three verses, and it says this. It says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon uh, descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessings, life forevermore. Mira como dice Salmo 133, el 1 3. Dice, mirad cuán bueno y cuán delicioso es habitar los hermanos juntos en armonía. Es como el buen oleo o aceite sobre la cabeza, el cual desciende sobre la barba, la barba de Aarón, y baja hasta el borde de sus vestiduras, como el rocío de Hermón, que desciende sobre los montes de Sion, porque allí envía a Jehová bendición y vida eterna. If you know a little bit about the Psalms, a lot of times there's a Psalm that it's called, in their poetic writing, it, it's called, um, it's Hebrew parallelism. And, and, y, y si sabemos algo un poquito sobre los, sobre los Salmos, Vamos a darnos cuenta que eh, este salmo o alguno de los salmos se le llama, como por la manera en que están compuestos, a uh, salmos de paralelismo. And so what it is, is if you see it throughout the Psalms and even other the poetic writings of, of, of in the Old Testament, where there's two factors that are making a point. In this case, it's talking about oil and the dew of Mount Hermon. Y en este, en este salmo, como en otras escrituras del Antiguo Testamento, nosotros podemos ver que el Salmo enseña dos ejemplos. Uno de los ejemplos de paralelismo es el aceite y el otro es el rocío. So both are liquids, but symbolizing the, the fluidity or the, how the presence of the Lord flows like oil. The anointing flows like oil or like water going down a mountain. Y lo que nosotros miramos es aquí que nosotros miramos como el, el, el se, se eh, explica que el aceite se derrama sobre, sobre esta persona 
And so here it's talking about how this oil is poured out on the head of the priest and how it runs down his head, his face runs down on, on his robe, which, which really is this, this symbolizing the generosity of the presence of God and how the community comes together as his anointing pours over his whole body. Y aquí nosotros miramos cómo este aceite se derrama sobre el, el, la cabeza del sumo sacerdote, corre por su barba y hasta su, hasta su, uh, a su, a su ropa, al borde de su ropa, y eso, eso nos, nos, nos explica como, uh, uh, o pinta el cuadro de que la generosidad de Dios se derrama su amor uh, cuando los, nosotros los hermanos estamos juntos y para Dios eso es algo muy placentero. When we think of anointing, we just put this little dab of oil in the Hebrew tradition of, of, of the Jewish people, when they anointed, they literally dumped this thing of oil on some, you know, go, go buy a suit, you know? They just kind of just dump this oil on people's head, and that's, that's, that's what's being pictured here. Cuando nosotros hablamos de movimiento, nosotros los que nos llegan a nuestra mente es como cuando nosotros surgimos ahorita un poquito de aceite sobre la frente y es todo. Pero como lo hacían antes uh, en, en, en el pueblo hebreo, cuando alguien era ungido se derramaba un frasco que fuera de aceite y ese aceite corría sobre su rostro, su barba, hasta sus ropas. So here God is, as the anointing flows and cover, the oil covers, what is it? It's coming, it's bringing community from across the distances, right? Because at this time, people, the Jewish people would all travel to get to the temple, so they're from all over the place. So here all these people are coming together as the oil covers the body of the priest. They, the people, the God covers his people when they come together. Yeah. Y nosotros cuando nosotros miramos eso, que el aceite se empieza a derramar sobre este sacerdote, la gente empieza a llegar de todos lados al monte y mirar, y todos son parte de esta bendición, de poder mirar esto y ser parte de, de, de este derramamiento. And so, again, and then it goes to talking about Mount Hermon, or known as Mount Zion as well, and, and how it just, it rises above the desert and the Jordan River, just high above but when the dew or the rain or when the snow melts, what happens? This water just comes down and flows through the valley, but covering the valley with the presence of God or with this water. Y también podemos hablar que, como hemos estado hablando, que también habla de este monte Hermón, el monte de Sion, que se conoce como el monte de Sion. Y este, todo este aceite, toda este, esta agua se empieza a derramar desde esa montaña, que es lo más alto en toda esa área, y llega hasta el valle, y todo ese valle llega cubierto por esto. Like the fragrant oil that, that brings life, right? When they smell the oil, it's like, and just like the water that comes down into desert. Literally what the psalmist is saying, look it, when we come together as the body of, well, for us as Christians, the body of Christ, or for them as they came together as children of God, what, what, what happens is we smell this fragrance that brings life, how water just brings life to, to, to them because not only are they together in the presence of the Lord, they're together as a body of people with one mind on the Lord. Y así como esta, esta, esta agua se derramaba y bajaba por el, por el monte y llegaba hasta el desierto y, y eso bendecía y a todos porque no solamente eran cubiertos, el, el, esto, esto era cubierto con la presencia de Dios, sino todos estaban, nos traían, atraían a todos y todos estaban juntos en una misma mentalidad. We have to understand that when God visits us or when we feel the presence of the Lord, it literally is his generosity, his presence, what calls his people to worship, right? Because when we're in his presence, what we then bring back, he anoints us with his presence, but we, what we surrender worship to him, that's what a sweet fragrance to his nose, the Bible tells us. Y como, como estaba diciendo nuestro hermano, que cuando el Señor nos bendice, con su presión, uh, presencia generosamente, nosotros uh, empezamos a alabar al Señor y ser bendecidos por parte de este ungimiento de Dios que está entre nosotros. For us as Christians, I know this is very Jewish, very cultural, very ingrained, 
in bread uh, with them for, for us as Christians. It, it, it's a little bit different because what brings us together is the love of God. It's the love of Jesus and his sacrifice that what we feel connected with others that have experienced the same uh, death, burial, and resurrection. Y para nosotros como cristianos es algo, es algo grande que nosotros nos, nos juntemos y, y, y no, aún nos relacionamos con alguien que ha experimentado o que ha pasado por esto. Aún gente que ha experimentado la muerte, esa futura resurrección de Jesucristo por medio del batismo. And I think over the years, and maybe it's just my experiences, that, that, that this is lost. Because many times Christians, not understanding that Jesus and his love is what binds us together, not necessarily that we look the same or act the same or from a same culture or something like that. Many times as Christians, we tend to look at the differences of others and not what they have in common with us, which is our Father. Y nosotros como cristianos, hermanos, que hemos sido unidos o, o, o por, por medio del amor de Dios, algo que se ha perdido en el tiempo, o hay cristianos que no entienden, uh, uh, y, y se enfocan en la diferencia de las personas, en las culturas y todo, ignorando uh, que lo que nos une a nosotros es el amor de Dios, el amor de Dios es lo que nosotros debemos de mirar, que sí tenemos en común, y no todo lo que nos hace diferentes. Because when we come together as the body of Christ, I know we haven't been in church, but when we just come together in prayer and stuff, but when we, when we come together, what is that? That invites the uh, a spiritual visitation. It, it invites the, the presence of God. You, you ever notice that? I wish it was every Sunday, but there's some Sundays that, my goodness, it feels like the roof is on fire because God is just coming down. And then the next Sunday, it's so different. And I always wonder why. But maybe on that particular Sunday, we all come with our hearts ready, not knowing. And in that unity, we have these great visitations of God. No sé si se ha dado cuenta, hermanos, pero cuando nosotros estamos unidos en una misma mentalidad y venimos aquí a alabar al Señor, a nuestra iglesia, y de repente sentimos que hasta que parece que el techo de la iglesia se quiere levantar, y, y, y lo que, la razón por la que pasa eso es porque la presencia de Dios honra que nosotros es, estamos unidos. Yo quisiera que así fuera todo el domingo, no lo es, pero cuando lo hay, es por esa razón. See, disorder or people who aren't united or where there's different factions or different groups or different cliques or something, there will never be unity in that. One can't find and say, like, Gustavo, you have to do it this way. That doesn't bring unity. That brings what? He'll get mad at me and I'll be mad at him because he's not doing what I say. We don't find unity in that. <laughs> Y a veces lo que causa que no haya unidad es que hay diferente gente, diferentes grupos que me, como por ejemplo aquí en la iglesia, me dice, hermano Bruno, quiero que, Gustavo, que tú hagas la cosa de esta manera y, y, y tal vez eso hace que me enoje porque yo tengo otra manera de hacerla. Eso en vez de causar unidad, causa separación. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing when, when we gather under the umbrella of the Lord, when we come together in the presence of God, that that brings us unity, but, but it also brings blessings to us. Y es maravilloso, hermano, cuando nosotros nos paramos bajo la sombrilla del Señor, que solamente no, no, no nos trae unidad, sino nos trae bendición. And so it, it's in that understanding, in that oneness of mind, together with the Lord, understanding that He's our Father, He set us free, He's given us uh, the peace that only He could bring. It's in that environment what, that we as people can come together and experience the blessings of God. I'm not talking necessarily about material things, about Him coming down, using our gifts, feeling, healing, restoring. Y no, estoy hablando de un ambiente que nosotros cuando estamos en la misma mentalidad de Dios, que se crea un ambiente que Dios nos sana, nos perdona, nos restaura. In, in Acts chapter 4, verses 31 and 32, uh, th this is what it says. You know, Acts, in the book of Acts, the, the church is, is, is new, right? Yeah, they were speaking to see the spirit of the Lord. Jesus had ascended, and it's just this new group uh, uh, coming together, just wanting to serve the Lord. Y, y vamos a hablar de la escritura en, el, en, el, en, el, en los hechos, en, el, en, la, en la epístola de Pablo a, 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 los, a los hechos, donde habla de un grupo de gente que solamente se iban a unir para alabar y glorificar al Señor. En Acts 4, verses 31 and 32, it says this, it says, When they had prayed, the, the, the place where they were uh, assembled together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. 
Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things they possessed was their own, but they all had things in common. Y miren lo que dice el capítulo 4, versículos 31 y 32. Dice, cuando vieron orado, el lugar en el que estaban congregados tembló, y todos fueron llenos del Espíritu Santo y hablaban con el nuevo palabra de Dios. Y la multitud de los que habían creído era de un corazón y un alma, y ninguno decía ser suyo propio, nada de lo que poseía, sino que tenían todas las cosas en común. So there, there's the whole idea that we're seeing in, in, in here in Acts is, is that when the whole church comes together, it's, it's necessary for all of us to come together uh, to what? To, to have this outpouring of the presence of the Lord in our lives, in our services, uh, you know, at the times that, that we, we, we need Him. It's, it's this unifying. It's not becoming cookie cutter and same color, same uh, culture, same thing. No, it's this understanding that we have this Father that loves us and, and, and He saved us and He set us free. And that that is that unity. It's that oneness that what? That then invites the power of God to come. Y la idea de lo que se habla aquí en los versículos que acabamos de leer es que nosotros tenemos que ser un, unidos y cuando nosotros estamos unidos es lo que invita a que la presencia de Dios venga y esté en nuestros medios. It's that it's this persistence of, of we want God. We want God together. We want to see God's face together. We want to see God move together. We, we want these things together because it's when, when we come together just like the Jewish people did up at the temple is coming together then what? It almost removes barriers that God can move and speak and do things y, y, that, that we haven't experienced. Y esa es la idea que, que se habla aquí es que nosotros hagamos todos juntamente, que oremos juntos, que oremos juntos para que venga la presencia de Dios, es decir, todos juntos, unidos, podemos experimentar la gracia la, y la gloria de Dios. It's, 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 it's the lie that we all have to be the same, right? We, we know that, you, you know, uh, uh, um, one of my favorite lines, I use it all the time, and you know, I'm sorry that I do, but it, it's Martin Luther King Jr., where he says the most segregated time is, is Sunday at 11 o'clock. We're all in our churches. Yes, when the Caucasians are in their churches, when the Hispanics are in their churches, when the African Americans are in their churches, and I really feel that that, that is is that truly what, what God has for us, or is that just a lie that we bought into? Y una de las mentiras que 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 que, que más grandes que hay ahí es que dice que todos tenemos que ser igual. Y una de las cosas que dijo Martin Luther King Jr. que yo he dicho varias veces que el momento que nosotros segregamos más a la gente es cuando los hispanos están en sus servicios, los hispanos, donde los afroamericanos están en sus servicios uh, separados y aún donde los anglosajones también están separados teniendo su propio servicio. It's not that we all have to think the same, it's all that we believe in our Father and we trust in Him, we trust in Jesus and the work that He's done and that that sets us free from a life of sin and, and maybe even sets us free from mentalities of society that may be negative but here we come together in the presence of God that what that God changes us so that after we disperse from being together we go back out into our life and society and our work and all that stuff and what if we become the light we become the positive element in a, in a world that so desperately needs love and so many churches are accustomed to this totalitarian leadership what does it mean we, we, we all have to you know we can't have differences of opinion if you have a different opinion you're thrown out and that, that's not biblical but a lot of our churches are that way and that's the kind of church that I grew up in came up in Muchas iglesias están uh, siendo acusadas de un liderazgo totalitario que si tenemos otra diferente opinión, nosotros o somos diferentes o creemos diferente de lo que ellos piensan, nos van a echar fuera de la iglesia. Ese es el, 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 la manera que, que yo crecí en la iglesia. God didn't save us to be robots. God didn't save us so that we could shed our cultures and our upbringings and, and who we are. It's fine to have differences of opinion, but, but we unite in the Lord. 
hard. Why? Because then all of that uniqueness comes together and creates this, this force of people that, that what can change the world, that can make a difference. But if we can't get it together as a church, how are we going to impact the world that's desperate to have peace and justice? So, Señor, no se dio para que fuéramos robots o todos tuviéramos la misma mentalidad o la misma cultura, sino que todos con una gran, aunque somos diferentes de diferentes culturas, con el Señor, nosotros podamos así en nuestra cultura, en nuestro lenguaje, cambiar a este mundo. In the church, that there are great truths that we should all agree on, that there's one God and one faith and one baptism. En el mundo hay, much, hay unas grandes verdades en las que todos debemos estar de acuerdo en el día en que hay un Señor, una fe y un bautismo. That Jesus died, was buried, and resurrected, and that, that his blood has cleansed us. Y que Jesús murió, fue sepultado y resucitó, y que por su sangre nosotros fuimos limpiados. That Jesus' love pours over us, and pours over forgiveness, and mercy, and grace. It's these things that bring us together, not what culture or how we were brought up or what economical category that we're in. It's these truths that bring us together as a body that what that can be this great influence on the world that we live in. like 
oil running down our faces, down our clothes, covering us with the presence of the Lord. Y muchos dicen, yo tengo hambre, pero no saben ni hambre de qué. Muchos tienen hambre de, de ser popular o lo que sea, pero dice la palabra de Dios como leímos. Dice, hay que tener hambre y sed de justicia y vamos a sentir la presencia de Dios. Sentir esa hambre, como leímos, que estamos siendo en trate de su aceite derramándose nosotros. I'm, I'm finishing. I, I personally, I, I want to see God do things that, that I, I have never seen before. Yo personalmente quiero que mirar que Dios haga cosas que tal vez nunca he mirado. Uh, 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 prior to all of these things, the, the, the virus and the pandemic, our, our services, we were having wonderful services and God was moving and, and people were coming and, and things were happening just amazing and I, every Sunday I would leave, I just couldn't believe the wonders of the Lord. Uh, Hemos cosas y, y cosas que pasaban en los servicios antes de que pasara la pandemia. Y, y yo, a veces, cuando se terminaban los servicios, yo decía, Dios mío, no, no, eh, nada más gozándome y pensando en cómo Dios se movía entre nosotros. But I, I want to see God do things that, that I've never seen before. Well, whatever that may be, if it's, if it's to bring a, a community together, or a city together, or, or, or a nation together, or well, whatever, whatever God can do, if I could be a factor in that by praying and trusting and believing God, is we as a church could come together and, and say, look at the wonders of the Lord, because we have united in prayer and unity and, and worship. Y, y tal vez yo cuando digo que yo quiero que Dios, ver que Dios haga cosas que nunca he visto, tal vez que me permita ver que se una nuestra comunidad, tal vez mirar que se una nuestra nación a cosas que, que, que nunca he visto antes. Y decirle, Señor, Señor, yo tengo más de las que quiero ver que hagan más cosas en mí. Let, let me finish with this. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. It's part of our, our study for, for this month on, on Wednesdays. And, and this is this is how the Apostle Paul describes uh, what it looks like to be unified together and, and with God. It says this, with all loneliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, in, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Y ahorita ya va a terminar, guarda una última escritura. Uh, que tiene que ver de lo que hemos estado hablando Efesios 4, 2 y 3 dice con toda humildad y mansedumbre soportados con paciencia los unos a los otros en amor solicitados en guardar la unidad del Espíritu en el vínculo de la paz I, 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 I think it's possible yo creo que es muy posible And, and I know that, 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 you know, I rejoice that as, um, you know, Central Church in uh, the past year or, or so, we, we really have been, been beginning to, to draw together and, and, and be unified on a lot of uh, levels that, that I, uh, in the past, thought may not be possible. Y ahorita me gozo porque sé que como iglesia, iglesia central que somos, nos hemos unido en diferentes niveles que yo nunca antes había tenido posible. I, I encourage that, that, that we stay hungry and we, we stay thirsty for the things of God. Let's, let's not be satisfied for just coming on a Sunday when we can come or watching on a Sunday and watching on a Wednesday and when we can start coming on one. Let's not just be satisfied with a couple of weeks of, of be, you know, of having a church service. Les quiero animar, hermanos, que no estén satisfechos con mirarnos en en su monitor, tal vez una semana, o cuando se habla de iglesia, solamente convenir una, una vez a la iglesia. Let's, 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 let's let it become our lifestyle, where, where we're not satisfied with, with just things that are going on in the world, or things that we have in our life, but, but that one of our prayers would be, you know, I, I want more of you, Lord. I, I want more of you, God, today. I want more of you, God, tomorrow. Vamos a no ser satisfechos solamente con lo que tenemos, pero vamos a pedirle, Señor, yo quiero más de ti el día de hoy, yo quiero más y más de ti a hoy y, y mañana. And as a, working as a chaplain, uh, you know, really, I, I say now working as a pastor under the label of a chaplain uh, in the hospital, this week I've seen three very, very difficult things that I, 
can't necessarily mention, but just just the hardest of things. Y trabajando como pastor bajo la sombría de Capernaum en un hospital, yo ahora me tocó mirar tres tres cosas que no puedo mencionar pero que son muy 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 difíciles de mencionar. That just affected families, que afectaron familias. And you know, as as someone that sees these and sees a lot every, every day, you know, it it really rattles me. Y como una persona que mira mucho todos los días, esto me me sacudió. And it's like, Lord, how you know, how does one function? How how do I how do I stay in Your presence during these hard things? Y yo le digo, Señor, Señor, cómo me puedo quedar en tu presencia, sentir tu presencia en medio de estas cosas tan difíciles? And, and I, 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 you know, after, you know, uh, uh, having a day off and, and just and, and thinking about these things, y después de tener un día de, de, de no trabajo y pensando sobre estas cosas, the, the, you know, I, I really felt just, you know, the Lord comforting me and, and, and saying, listen, these, these things are, are part of life. Y yo sentí que el Señor me consolaba y el Señor mismo me dijo, ¿sabes? Estas cosas que tú experimentaste son parte de la vida, son cosas de la vida. Just continue to, to seek my face. Continúa a buscar mi rostro. And so, you know, I spent a, some time in prayer and studying and, and thinking. My wife was, you know, out, out for a day or so with her, her family. And it was it was really a, a, a time where I, I regrouped and said, you know, Lord, you, 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 you truly are this this ointment, this oil that soothes, even myself as, you know, a believer and, and trusting in you, 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 you never fail, you, you come and you soothe this broken heart that I, I had this week. Y yo hablando con el Señor en ese día de descanso que tú, que tú y mi esposa había salido con su familia, y tomé la oportunidad para, para hablar con Dios y, y decirle, Señor, tú, Sinceramente tomas tiempo para venir y sanar y acariciar y hacer y ayudar a hacer los Let's let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and grace. Gracias, Señor, por su 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 gracia, su su amor. Y si siempre dicen las mujeres son días muy difíciles. Lord, I know we've been saying we live in difficult times, but these past months and these past weeks or a week or so, it's difficult times, Lord. It's difficult times, challenging times. And we need you, God. We, we need you. We need you as individuals. We, we need you as families. We, we need you as a church body, Lord God. Nosotros necesitas su presencia, no solo en su vida, en la vida de nuestras familias, y también en su iglesia, Señor. Si necesitas su presencia, Señor, porque es muy fácil creer en los mentiras de nuestro mundo, Señor. It's really easy to be sucked up by the media and the, and, and, and maybe the very negative things that we see, Lord. But we need you, God. We need you. We need your presence, Jesus. We need you, God. Señor, si necesita a ti en estos días, Señor. Porque sin ti nosotros no tenemos nada. Without you, God, we, we have nothing. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. Oh, 
together as one happy family in the Lord. We're looking forward to opening the doors of the Central Apostolic Church downtown San Jose.
not only here in this building, but I feel even in the homes of those that are, that are watching God. The Lord Jesus right now, and in this moment that we're praying for, those that are assembling uh, the protests, God, and, and, and exercising their First Amendment rights, Lord God, and Father, that you can bring just a peace and a comfort, Lord, that hearts could be and words can be communicated in a way that doesn't break or hurt. That first responders, Lord, don't, don't have to act in, in, in negative and, and in difficult ways, Lord Jesus. Like the balm of Gilead, Lord. Soothe, Lord Jesus, soothe. Open doors, create opportunities. Change mindsets, Lord God. Heal deep-seated pain, Lord Jesus. Toca, Señor. Tú puedes sanar ellos que por mucho tiempo sientes un dolor que estuvo en sus culturas, Señor. In the name of Jesus, protect us, Señor. Protect us, Señor. Tu policía, Señor. Ayuda a ellos. De sus familias que sufran con ellos están afuera. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dios bendiga, hermanos. Tienes una buena semana ahora. Estamos juntos. Así, con oración en nuestros corazones. Let's, let's continue to pray and let's stay united in our hearts and in, in prayer. Tr trust in God and in, in Jesus' name. And, we're just going to worship just for a little bit more, but this is officially the end. Lord willing, we'll see you on Wednesday in our in our live stream. Esperamos que te puedas verlos en nuestros estudios en miércoles ahí arriba de Facebook Live. Dios Dios bendiga. God bless you.
libertad Oh, oh, oh.